Ho, oh, Adobe Illustrator finally has a new tool, but what is it and how do you use it? Let's have a play around and find out. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and you can see I have a star and what we're going to do is go over here to the toolbar and we're going to grab the new dimension tool. Let's click it and we get this other little toolbar pop up. Let's go and stick that up there. Very nice. And first on the list, we have linear dimension. So what we can do is we can click, let's go for here. We can click on a point, just make sure that you do have your smart guides turned on and we can drag to another point and you can see there is a measurement for the distance of this line. So let's go here and click. We can see that this part of the star is 101 pixels. And once we click a second time, we can now position this. So let's go down here and you can see it just drops down a little bit there. And we can do this again. Oh, no, don't select the tool, Dan. You've already got it selected, you fool. Right, so let's click this again and we'll do the full width of the star. Click and go up and then we'll go down here and we'll do the bottom as well. Brilliant. So we've got some measurements. That is fantastic. Something else we can also do if we go along one more is grab this one here. If I can actually click on it. Hey, there we go. Angular dimension. So what we can do now is we can go and find an angle. So essentially a corner point and we can click and we can go. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't click. Click and drag and we can go outside. You can see the angle here is 108 degrees or we can go on the other side, which is 252 degrees. So this is really, really useful for finding out the angle of uh, different points where lines meet. Basically that. What? So this is 108 degrees and you can see it adds a, uh, a what am I saying? A line, a double ended arrowed line. No, a double a double ended a few moments later a line with a double ended arrow no a double ended arrow that doesn't make sense a line ah! do you know what never mind so there we go that looks fantastic and uh, let's go and do another one here on the inside just for fun there we go 252 lovely so we've got a whole bunch of measurements now so if i go up here to the layers panel you can see that I've got this listed as a separate layer. So that is really, really helpful. Ooh, let us know how you're experiencing. Go away. I'm in the middle of a video for goodness sake. Right now, let's select all of these dimension -y bits. And because I've got only dimension related or dimension tool related bits selected, we get loads and loads of different properties. So here I can choose the precision. So if you want multiple decimal places for maximum precision, that's where you're going to go. There we go, uh, <laughs> very, very detailed. Here we can change the color. So let's go and pick a nice pink, nice punchy pink. We'll go and copy that. And then down here, we can kind of copy and paste that color. And we could thicken this up. We could change the arrow style. Let's go for this one here, arrow seven. That looks delicious. We could scale that arrow down. Loads of other different settings here. We could uh, make this into a dashed line and the text as well. So we could change the text to, I don't know, purple if we wanted to just for fun so lots of different properties to mark everything up <laughs> that looks rather nice actually i'm quite proud of that so let's get rid of that star and we're going to do the last one now which is radial dimension uh i i need a shape first actually so let's go and grab the ellipse tool and then just click and drag holding shift to create a circle <laughs> there we go now i can actually demonstrate the tool so let's go and grab that one there radial dimension and what I can do is I can click on the outer part of the circle and you can see it will mark the radius. The radius, of course, being the center point to the outermost point of the circle. Or what I can do is, how do I do this actually? Wait, there we go. Click and drag and I get the diameter of the circle. So that is the distance from one side all the way to the other. So there we go, that is the Dimension Tool. And if you'd like to check out my full Adobe Illustrator Masterclass, there is a link to that down in the video description. But as always, take care and I'll see you next time.